connect here from Enthusiastic Gardener. What I've tended to do in the past, as soon as there's the hint of spring, I rush out to the garden centre, I fill my garden up with beautiful things for spring, so it looks very colourful. And then by autumn, I haven't got so much beautiful colours, so that's what I'm trying to correct. So I've been to the garden centre and I've bought a few plants with late summer and autumn colours. So hopefully I can continue the colours through the season right to the very end. Now I have found this beautiful plant here, which is in fact a lobelia. It's called a lobelia Queen Victoria. Now you normally associate lobelias with the carpet covering plants, which are ideal for hanging baskets and ground cover. Um, but there are actually 415 different species of lobelia. They come in small, large, hardy, tender, annuals, perennials, shrubs. So they're an amazing species. Whichever type of lobelia you have, they do have some things that are common to them all. They all have alternate leaves. All the flowers have five lobes. And they all have such vibrant colours and I have found some amazing information about this type of lobelia. Now, they were also used a couple of hundred years ago a lot for traditional medicine. And believe it or not, in the early 19th century, two of the species were used as treatment for syphilis. And then a hundred years later, at the beginning of the 20th century, they were used as an asthmador, which means that it was treatment for people with asthma. Uh, anyone with a bronchial infection or shortness of breath, anything like that. So they would take the leaves and they would burn them because in some of the varieties they have a property called lobeline or lobeline which is quite similar to nicotine. So they would smoke it and would you believe that in those days, 100 years or so ago, the first line of treatment if you had a sore throat or if you had bronchial affections, if you had asthma or anything like that, the first line of treatment was smoking. <laughs> How times have changed. So that's really interesting. And another group of people who used lobelia as traditional medicine were the Appalachians who lived in America from the Appalachian Mountain area which is where the Laurel and Hardy song, Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia, comes from. It's from the southern tip of New York State down towards Alabama and northern Georgia, that area. They were an isolated group of people, are very associated with poverty, and they would smoke the leaves and they would have a very good day, let's put it like that. So, I mean, there are a lot of myths and distortions about the Appalachians, who knows? I'm not saying that it's right. It's just what I've read as a possibility. And of course, probably most medicinal cures from the olden days are now considered to be absolutely wrong. But that's just what they did in those days. So I found all those very interesting stories just about the lobelia. I like to find leaves and textures of different colours for the garden. This is what they call a beetroot colour. So it comes under the red section and I try to get red, yellow plants, green plants and blue plants which is all the four different sort of leaf colours that you can get or the hues of those colours which I think if you put those in the garden it just makes it so much more interesting and that's just the foliage without even getting to the flowers. Now this particular lobelia as I said it's called Queen Victoria and it's also called the cardinal flower as well. It will grow up to 36 inches tall and 12 inches wide it's going to have beautiful red flowers which should be vibrant and they should be from August to October. So we should see those very soon. It likes full sun and it can do with part shade as well. Very hardy. It's a perennial so it's going to lose its leaves in the winter and come back again next year. And also you can divide it probably every other year. So I did a video a while back about dividing my campanula. So it would be exactly the same way. You would dig it up, 
stick a fork in, split it apart and divide it. But we will do that in two years time. I'm sitting in the shade this morning just to do the talking because it has been so hot, 31 degrees. It actually rained this morning, which was so welcoming. So it feels a little bit fresher. So I want to get these planted before it gets too much hotter. And I'll show you where I'm going to put them. So as you can see here, I've got a gap. I love a gap. And it's all very green. Apart from this, of course, this will come under the red section of the colour schemes. But if you put this here, Two, doesn't that just add a lot more colour? my new Lobelia, Queen Victoria, and especially interesting now I know all its history, which always makes it such fun and it helps me remember the plant and what it's all about. So let's see how that goes and I've got a few more plants which I will be adding to give more late summer and autumn interest. I'm Jeanette, I am the Enthusiastic Gardener. Thank you so much for watching me. I have to go in now, I am melting. Take care now, bye.